Today we're learning how to identify equal parts in a shape. This circle is split into equal parts. We say the parts are equal because both of the parts of the circle are the same size. In contrast, let's take a look at this circle, which is not split into equal parts because both parts of the circle are not the same size. Now that we understand what equal parts are, let's take a look at this shape and identify if it is split into equal parts. If we look at the different parts of this shape, we can see that all of the parts are not the same size. That means this shape is not split into equal parts. Let's take a look at one of these together now. Let's identify if this shape is split into equal parts. When we look at the pieces of this shape, you first might notice that this one is pointing a different direction. But if we just spin them around, are the pieces all the same size? Yes, we can see that all of the parts of this shape are the same size. So which of these is the best description of this shape? We would say it is split into one, two, three, four equal parts. Now let's practice some of these together. Which of these shapes is split into four equal parts? Let's start by looking at this first shape. How many parts is the shape split into? This shape is split into one, two, three, four parts. So it's split into four parts, but are all of the parts equal? No, all of the parts of this shape are not the same size. These are not equal parts. This is not our answer. Let's look at this next shape. How many parts is this shape split into? This shape is split into one, two, three parts, which means it can't be our answer because we were looking for a shape that was split into four parts, not three. What about this last one? How many parts is this shape split into? This shape is split into one, two, three, four parts. Are the parts equal? Yes, all of the parts of this shape are the same size. This shape is split into four equal parts. This is our correct answer. Now it's your turn to practice. Which of these shapes is split into three equal parts? We can see that this first shape is split into three parts, but the parts are not all the same size. So this shape is not split into three equal parts. The second shape is split into one, two, three parts, and they do all seem to be the same size. So this shape is split into three equal parts. The last shape is also split into three parts, but the parts are not the same size. The part on the bottom is bigger, medium in the middle, and small on top. This shape is not split into equal parts. So only this shape is split into three equal parts. Now here is your last problem for this video. Which of these shapes is split into five equal parts? The first shape is split into only one, two, three, four parts, so it can't be this one. This second shape is split into five parts, and all of them do appear to be the same size. So we can say that this shape is split into five equal parts. This last shape is also split into one, two, three, four, five parts, but they are not all the same size. We can see that some of the pieces are bigger than others. That means this shape is our only correct answer. Now you know how to identify equal parts in a shape. Great job!